Hey, welcome to Adventures with Peps. We are working our way through the ABC Warriors Wave 2 sets. If you hadn't seen it already, we had the uh, the horrible robots that I can't pronounce, the rogue ones, the uh, the Marzocods. I have no idea. I still don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> They're basically the workforce. We are now moving into Joe Pineapples, Stillhorn and Rojaws. More of the ABC Warriors of the, Mag the Magnificent Seven. Just make sure the box is empty. I'm actually happy to be getting more good guys. I got a lot of villains. So let's start with the card Steelhorn. He is looking like a big model, which I am loving big models. How do I get in? Ooh, secretly wrapped up. Now, I remember when I'm unpacking this stuff to actually look what I'm throwing out. Nearly threw out the heads last week. So thank you, Maria. We have Joe Pineapples, a former exterminator. He is ultimately the sniper type character in this set. Uh, he has the rules A1. He can take a monologue double action, as in page 103. And if he does with his gun, he can treat the action as an aimed fire. Joe generates a D3 times 10,000 likes if the shot inflicts a leak. Gotta be honest, have not played the game yet, so that means absolutely nothing to me. And then he has the rules frag. He is lightning fast and has killer programming. The model is pretty cool. I am confused. The artwork they're using obviously shows... Easy Steam, who becomes, who is a robot, who Joe Pineapple turns into his gun. But then his gun is not that. It is the Magnum Macro 3000 sniper rifle. And he also has his extermination sidearm. He's pretty cool. He's no right 28 so he's pretty expensive. We then have Road Jaws. Yum, 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 yum. He loves sweet garbage. Bog off as one of his rules. He can run off his mouth like no other, distracting and offending in equal measures. That's quite comical. Enemies have to pass a cool test. <laughs> That's quite comical. Uh, and then he is a scrapper. Rojaws has finely tuned sense of self-preservation. When Rojaws is hit, he can reduce the level of damage inflicted on him by retreating two inches from the attacker per level avoided for a maximum of six inches. For example, if he takes three leaks, he can retreat six and only become stunned. That is pretty cool. He is a little guy. Nom nom. Do you like the model? Revolutionist, anarchist, artist. He is armed with his pinches for close combat and a basic hand cannon. And then finally, we have Steelhorn. Very uh, American-esque with his flags. He is the war hero, wielding the implosion hammer. He brought the Vulcan War almost to an end before being corrupted by Vulcan and Blackpool. Blackpool. <laughs> Blackblood. <laughs> I do apologize. He turned him against his own side. After the war, his creators melted him into slag and he became the mess. I wonder if they'll make the mess. They probably won't, but it'd be nice if they did. He's got his diamond head, which causes it to be indestructible. When resisting incoming damage, he can count oh, the 2000 AD symbol and defense as successes. That is cool. Uh, and then the mess. If Stillhorn gains leaks equal to twice his resist or more, i.e. 14 or more leaks, he is not removed as destroyed. Instead, he becomes the mess a hostile, hostile mobile mass of molten metal. That is pretty cool. So the mess stats seem to be, yep. So mess is this second column of stuff. So he can't shoot, obviously, but he can still fight pretty well. Pretty good defense. Loses a hit of cool. Very expensive, probably the most expensive at 36 points. His implosion hammer is purely close combat, but causes a blast of three inches and vortex when Stillhorn scores a close combat hit with the implosion hammer. The vortex effect means that all models within six inches of this point are dragged these six inches towards it. 
Whoa, the power of Storm's close combat hit is increased by one for each model that is dragged into base contact with another model. The modified power of the hit will then apply to all models within the three inch point struck. So he can just like blow up squads. That is pretty cool. I like the idea of that one. Very, very cool. All right, let's get to the models. We got a lot to build and paint over the next few weeks, which is wonderful. I do like that. So this was all packaged by Vass. This big base is going to be Stillhorn, and then the other two will be Joe Pineapple, the size of the hammer. That is almost as big as my finger. It's bigger than, no, it's, yeah, it's bigger than my pinky. Actually, it's bigger than Joe Pineapple. That is hilarious. That is a big hammer. So then we have Joe Pineapple. A couple of areas to clean up, but nothing too scary. We then have uh, Road Jaws. He looks hilarious. I love the model. Road Jaws will be very easy to use in Judge Dredd as well, which is great. Got the gun for Joe Pineapples. That should stick on something like that. That's a pretty cool model. And the rest should be pretty much still horns to dig our way through. We got Road Jaws arm plus something else. Oh, that's probably a third leg. Do we think? Yep. A little stable. Very fun and cute. And Stillhorn, he is huge. His legs are almost as tall as Joe Pineapples. And I guess that's his body. It's going to go a big chunk of uh, cleaning on that. But that will go somewhere here. And then we have an arm, which I assume is there. His head. This is a great looking model. Very excited to put this one together. And he has his other arm. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Right, uh, let's stop there. I'm going to build it and we'll be right back. And there we go. The three final models all built. Looking beautiful, look at them. Joe Pineapples is by far my favourite. I'm looking forward to painting that purple. But look at Stillhorn, he's massive. The shield is really detailed. He's going to take contrast paints wonderfully. And of course, Robo Jaws. He's a beautiful little monster. So we've got plenty of, uh, plenty of ABC Warrior goodness coming in. So make sure you like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next video real soon. As always, I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.